Welcome to HelpYourMath.com and in this video we're going to run the complex number series with division this time. Again, remembering that the standard form of any solution is A plus BI where A and B are numbers and I represents the imaginary component. And also the fact that I squared is equivalent to negative 1 and the square root of the negative 1 is also I. Now let's continue with this division series, the five problem series set. We have 3 divided by i is the first problem. Now this is the first problem because this is the most basic form of rationalizing a denominator that we can get. And to rationalize this denominator, what we'll be doing is multiplying the top and bottom by the i term alone since it's a, it's a singular term on the bottom. So here by multiplying with i over i, we're going to get 3 i's on the top and we're going to get i squared on the denominator. Again, remembering the i squared becomes negative 1. We get 3i divided by negative 1, which then becomes negative 3i. When we divide 3i by negative 1, we get negative 3i's. And that's our rationalized term. Now let's move on to the second problem. And in this problem, we see we have 4 divided by 5i's. Now to divide this problem, again, we just want to multiply the top and bottom by the i term because to get rid of the i from the denominator, which is what we want to do, we just have to multiply the bottom and top by i. So here we're going to multiply the denominator by i and the numerator by i. This will give us 4 i's on top and on the bottom we get 5 i squared. Remembering again that the i squared represents negative 1 based on this, we see we have 4 i's divided by 5 times negative 1, which is negative 5. So we have 4i divided by negative 5, and the negative term moves up, and we get negative 4 over 5i. That's our solution for this problem. Moving on to the next one, we see we have 4 minus 5i as a numerator divided by just 5i. And again, we want to get rid of the i in the denominator to rationalize this term, and then put our solution in standard form, right? As far as the first two goes, there were no numbers, so we just have the i term, right? In this one, we're going to get two terms. So here, we're going to separate the fractions first. Since we have a monomial in the bottom, this will perfectly divide each term. So we have 4 over 5i minus 5i over 5i. And we've already done this problem here with the 4 divided by 5i. We saw that became negative 4 over 5i, right? So I'll just go ahead and supplement that solution to this. We have negative 4 over 5 with the i next to it. And here we have negative. So we have 5i divided by 5i. These are the same identical term which produces a 1. And here the solution for this will require the number to be in the front. So we have negative 1 minus 4 over 5i's. This is in standard form there, all right? Let's move on to the fourth problem in the series, and we have 2 divided by 3 plus 2i's. Now, to do this one, what we have to do to complete this rationalization, since the denominator has a binomial, is use the conjugate pair. And a good idea of where the conjugate pair comes from is the difference of two squares formula, where we have the first term minus the second term times the first term plus the second term, where these are called conjugate pairs. Now, in this case, we have the 3 plus the 2i, which we need the negative term to create the difference of the two squares so that it could become just perfect squares subtracting from each other. So at the bottom here, we're going to multiply this and this on top by 3 take away 2i. And here we see on the denominator, we have the difference of two squares now. So for, as far as the numerator goes, we could just multiply these out. We get, let's just leave them like that for now. And on the bottom, we're going to have the difference of two squares. So the first term is 3, so we have 3 squared. And the second term is 2i squared. And they're going to be subtracting from each other, all right? So now what do we have for the first one? We have 6, take away 4i's with the distribution on top. On the bottom we have 9, take away 4i squared. So now let's see what this evaluates to. We have 6, take away 4i's, 
over 9. The i squared becomes a negative 1, right? So we have negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. And that denominator creates a 13, right? So we have 6 minus 4 i's over 13. And now we're just going to split the fractions into 2. So we separate the 6 from the 4 i's and we give each the denominator's value. And there we have it in complex form, right? The number first, complex number second. Let's put the i next to the fraction just because. So our i would go right next to this, all right? Moving on to the last one, we see we have 2 take away i over 2 plus i. And this is a very, very straightforward problem. We see here that we have to conjugate our denominator. In our denominator, we have the positive term. What we need to multiply by is the negative term. So we're going to multiply both by the 2 minus i, top and bottom. And this is the same term we have on top, right? So technically, what we have is 2 take away i squared over the difference of the 2 squares, which is 2 squared minus i squared. Again, the bottom has two conjugates. The top has a perfect square, right? So here we could also use the perfect square formula where we have this term squared minus 2 times this and this plus this term squared. But I'll just foil and expand this out. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative i is negative 2 i's. Negative i times 2, negative 2 i's. And negative i times negative i is positive i squared. On the bottom here we have 4 take away i squared. Now, as far as the numerator goes, we have to combine like terms, right? So we have 4 take away 4i plus i squared over 4 take away i squared. And secondly, we have to substitute this value in negative 1 for i squared. So we have 4 minus 4i's plus negative 1. There we insert the negative 1 for i squared, and the same thing happens down here. So we have 4 minus negative 1. And finally, 4 plus negative 1 is positive 3 minus 4 i's. And here we have 4 negative 1 and negative 1 make positive 1. So then finally, we have 3 minus 4 i over 5. And we just split the fraction into 2. So the 3 goes over the 5. And the negative 4 goes over the 5 with the i next to it. And we're done with that. Thank you.